out around the Legislative Council building, which saw riot police deployed. Police arrested 19 people and are reserving their right to prosecute more. Pinky Wong was at LegCo and saw how things escalated after midnight. Scenes most people didn't want to see. Anti-extradition bill protests turned violent outside the Legislative Council complex after midnight, when the public assembly permit expired. Masked protesters encouraged others to barge in and move close to the electrical building. Some of them were dressed in black in contrast to the Civil Human Rights Front's call for marchers to turn up in white yesterday. Barricades piled up. Some stood guard. Officers gave warnings to those charging police lines. When clashes escalated, officers resorted to the use of pepper spray. Pepper-based solution was also used as police ushered demonstrators and reporters out of the electrical area. The tactical team was deployed. Water bottles, umbrellas and steel rods were thrown at the police. This officer was unlucky. The testers were also injured. So was the TVB cameraman. The KL stands in stark contrast to how things were during the protest match which ended at 10 p.m. last night. The testers also gathered overnight on Longwood Road outside the Lesko building. A standoff continued. Police officers eventually pushed the protesters toward the old Wan Chai police station and rounded up over 350 of them. Uh, over 81% is under 25 years old. The uh, preparation and the, uh, the, the, the stuff that and uh, some scissors and connections uh, from the incident after midnight. So we have arrested uh, 19 people. Police say they reserve the right to arrest more people in the near future. Police Commissioner Stephen Lowe condemned the violent clashes and vowed to bring those responsible to justice. Thank you all. TVB News.